as the end of my 2023 flying year came to a close, I had one final aviation adventure to complete, and it took me back to my flying roots, Scotland. Two pilots, two countries, over 350 nautical miles, and something with a high wing for a change. Stay tuned to join along for the trip. After a fantastic year of instructing, adventures and trips with friends and family, 2023 was coming to an end. Before the Christmas holidays got into full swing, I was asked to help collect a trusty Cessna 172 from Cumbernauld in Scotland and fly it all the way back to Leon Solent. This was an amazing opportunity to get back into Scotland where I learned to fly and experience the stunning beauty that the UK has to offer all in one day. I asked fellow pilot, instructor and good friend Dom to join me on the trip, which was only our second time flying together. Despite both instructing out of Leon Solent, our busy schedules rarely give us a chance to fly together, and so it was great to jump into the cockpit together for this epic trip. The approach into Edinburgh gave us a glimpse of what we had to come. The beautiful snowy mountains and excellent visibility all under a lovely winter sun. This is why I truly love aviation. Just having a private pilot's license opens the door to trips and adventures like these, and that's all without even leaving the confines of the UK itself. We got picked up from Edinburgh and headed over to Cumbernauld Airport, where the Cessna was waiting for us on the apron, to take her the length of the country back to the south coast. Juliet, Cessna 172, 2 POB on the main apron, request radio check, airfield information for a flight to Slape. Echo Golf, Charlie Victor. Golf, Bravo Juliet, good afternoon, no sorry, good morning, you beautiful friend 5, runway in use is 25 right, the QNH 1009, QFE 9 or 6 hectopascals, no reported traffic. Good afternoon, Radio Bitty 5 also, runway 25 right hand, QNH 1009er, QFE 996 hectopascals, and we're taxi initially to Bravo Golf, Bravo Juliet. Happy. All set, all clear. Clear that way, parking brake is off. Did you want to check your brakes? Go ahead. You have control. Right. Yeah, yeah, all good, yeah, control, oh. control, fuel, good, coming around to the right, compass, DI, turn, and slip, round to the left, DI, turn, and slip. Door brake handle, turn forward. Now right, that is as far as it goes, okay. It feels free and it's not feel like it's sticking or it needs power which is good so pilot from bravo if we have a problem on the runway we're going to stop on the runway close the throttle bring the aircraft to a stop deal with the problem vacate the aircraft there's next to no wind but uh upwind would be to the left hand side of the aircraft uh, if we're just airborne we have a problem if there's any runway remaining ahead or land on the remaining runway ahead if we don't have remaining runway ahead then it's going to be finding a decent landing area within 30 degree arc of the runway heading land ahead if we have sufficient height at which we think we can perform a mini circuit and come back it's probably going to be the region about 700 800 feet on the qfe then we'll do that come back and land happy with that happy cool and to be fair with the wind as it is if we did do um into almost like a minute circuit, we potentially could have the option of landing downwind because there's not much of it at all. Uh, next frequency 19875, which is Scottish automation. But I don't know why I went Italian, that's it's beautiful. I'm rubbish at, uh, at accents. Just wait for that to fire up. Then we get going. Cool, Bravo Juliet, ready for departure at Bravo, lining up runway 25. 
Nothing heard on the radio. And we start our adventure. <laughs> Lee FI's on tour. Still gutted it's not two listeners, but hey ho. Yes. That's better than none. Absolutely. Good. Talk to me to set. Transponder is on. Pito. Not required for now. Light battle on. Cool. Kills on the floor. Slight crosswind from the right. Full power coming up. Good, full power, indicated, T's and P's in the green, airspeed is alive. Sixty mile an hour. There she goes. The aircraft's alright as well, hey! Yeah, uh, 200 feet. Lots of golf courses. 300 feet. That's coming up both sides. Aircraft accelerating. Good afternoon, pass your message. Good afternoon, Mom Golf Alpha X ray Bravo Juliet. This is Cessna 172 2 POB from Cumbernauld to Slate Echo Golf Charlie Victor. We're approximately 5 miles south of Cumbernauld, altitude 2,500 feet on a QNH of 1009. We're routing via Moffat and Lockerbie. I request basic service. Well, Bravo Juliet, thank you. Squawk 7401, please, basic service. Squawk 7401, basic service. Golf Alpha X ray, Brother Julia. Beautiful, 
so on our way, heading via Slate to Leon Solent, through the valleys, down past Blackpool, through Liverpool, to see Dom's Origins, and then uh, stop off at Slate for some fuel, not for the aircraft, but us, probably a bladder break, and then uh, down through Bryce Norton, and pretty direct from there, because we've got to get back before sunset, or before official night, which is about half past four. Just gone midday, about three and a half hours in a straight trip, so with a short stop off it should work out perfectly. The videos really do not do the beautiful landscape justice. Taking in these views with your own eyes is absolutely breathtaking. From 2,500 feet, we had the best seat in the house to whistle through the Scottish mountain range amongst the snowy valleys below. The Cessna performed excellently, and with the aircraft trimmed out, Dom and I sat back and enjoyed the views towards the Scottish border. We are being Carlisle, 2,500 feet. Still speaking to Scottish information, routing through the lakes, past Windermere, and then down to Blackpool, making nice, uh, nice progress. It's running lovely. Dom and I aren't sick of each other yet. Nah. Everything is going really well. And the. Uh, the views through the, uh, the valleys just reminded me of my PPL, which I did up in Scotland. And uh, some nav routes, speaking to Scottish information, through the valleys. Golf Bravo Juliet, pass message. Golf Bravo Juliet, Scott Conspicuity, please, and contact London Information on 125 decimal 475. They have your details. Scott Conspicuity, contact London 125475. Thanks for the handover, and happy St Andrews Day. Golf X Ray Bravo Juliet, bye. Thank you very much, sir. Take care. So that'll be, they'll give us 1177, won't they? Yep, standing by for that. Lord Charles. London information, hello, Golf Alpha, X-Ray Bravo, Juliet with you. We are a beam, Carlo. Golf Alpha, X-Ray Bravo, Juliet, London information, hello. I have your basic details from Scottish information. Just confirm your present position and your onward routing to sleep. Correction, present level and onward routing to Slate. So at 2,500 feet, 1009, we'll be routing via Lake Windermere and then down the west coast past Blackpool uh, to Slate, Gulf Brother Juliet. Is that you, Stu? It is. Hello, is that George? Hey, firm, yeah, long trip today. There it is, that's what I was thinking. Uh, Gulf Mouth, X ray, Bravo, Juliet, Roger, Squawk 1177, mode Charlie for a basic service. Squawk 1177, mode Charlie, basic service, Gulf Brother Juliet, hey. I had a pleasant surprise on changing over from Scottish information based in Presswick to London information based in Swanwick, with my colleague Stu on duty. The FISOs, Flight Information Service Officers, do an excellent job spanning the whole country, and as you'll hear in a second, keep us informed of potential traffic in the vicinity of our routing. We're lucky to have this service here in the UK, and I find them particularly useful in the more remote areas outside of radar services. Mike, Sierra, Roger. Just be advised there is a uh, southbound Cessna 172, altitude 2,500 feet. Just checked in on the frequency of Beam Carlisle, routing towards Lake Windermere. Copy, look at the traffic. I'm requesting please change now to Scottish information 119, decimal 8, 75, Mike, Sierra. Golf Mike, Sierra, Roger. Squawk on security to Scottish information. Goodbye. Scott on security, I'm changing to BBC. Golf Mike, Sierra, goodbye. November 840 Charlie Delta London information. Good afternoon. Just stand by our number one break. Golf Bravo Juliet London information. Golf Bravo Juliet, Parch message. Uh, Golf Bravo Juliet, uh, 
the station just left the frequency to Scottish information there was a Cessna 152 was reported descending to 3,500 feet and had reported inbound to Kirk Bride, but they were just south of a paragliding site about five miles to the south of Dean Cross. Are you aware of that paragliding at Burbank? There was a note home early this morning. Yeah, that's copy. Thank you. Uh, we'll keep a good look at Thank you. God, bravo, Juliet. God, bravo, Juliet. Watch out. Watson radar, good afternoon. Back with us, approaching Blackpool. Gone through the lakes, past Lake Now speaking to Watson radar. See Blackpool Tower. Be awesome. Used to come up here on our family holidays. Time point of departure destination, please. Pipeline 33, CN68, fixed wing, pipeline patrol, Liverpool to Liverpool, operating 1,000 foot AGL, squawking 0036, operational. Get some uh, good footage of some pictures, pictures for my nan and granddad. They're probably tracking us on flight radar. Springfield and the Check out to them. Please look them up here, they're here at the moment, or are they, come, are they, are they just holding out here, they're not here now? No, they're not here now. Okay. This is actual copied, uh, Matt, so but they, I say it's, uh, uh, we haven't been to Blackpool in years. That's what we used to do, come and see the illuminations, the old trams, and get a stick of rock on the way home. But funny now, I remember when I was younger, it'd be like, I'll be a pilot one day, holidaying in Blackpool, and now, <laughs> look at the reverse. Yeah. Ferrying a Cessna all the way back from Scotland, flying past the Blackpool Tower, and getting pictured from a different angle. Love it. You maintain that altitude until you pass the uh, Blackpool ATZ. Uh, Dave's uh, just got a lot of circuit traffic at the moment. Roger, maintain 2400, copy, 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 Top of aircraft moving on the ground at Blackpool. Beautiful. Ah, Pleasure Beach. That blue building, I think that's where they did the crystal maze way back in the day. Oh, really? Yeah. Many a holiday down there. I've been there for years. Come one in a dozen, the other eleven give something from nothing. I sit here looking for an answer. Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter. You gave me the soul I have today. Without you, I never could have moved away. But now I seek what you teach. I do believe I always should have stayed. As we routed south of Blackpool towards Liverpool, our transponder, the equipment used to identify us on ATC radar, had stopped working and so ATC could not identify us. Because of this, we had to avoid controlled airspace and avoid the Liverpool zone transit that we had first planned. A good example of always having a plan B and always being ready for the unexpected. 
Remaining to the west of Liverpool, we routed via the Point of Air Lighthouse towards Slate. Shawbury's own at the minute, which is mandatory for heading into Slape as per the joining procedures. Just approaching the VRP, the way into Slape. Golf, November Delta, traffic south east, five miles, track is. So far, been a very successful trip. It's been wonderful. Not Minus the transport of the plane up a little bit. And Golf Bravo Juliet approaching Ellesmere Lake. Uh, request for it to change the Slate radio, 122455. Golf Bravo Juliet, it's called Cost Security, free call Slate, g'day. Security free call Slate Golf. Bravo Julia, thanks. Slate Radio, good afternoon. Golf Alpha X ray Bravo Julia, Ellesmere Lake, 2,400 feet inbound. Golf Bravo Julia, Slate Radio, very good afternoon. Real main, this is 05, right hand circuit. QFE is 9095. QH 1005. Good afternoon, runway 05, right hand circuit, QFE 995 hectopascals, and QNH 1005 will join overhead. Golf Bravo Julia. Bravo Juliet, Roger. Call Bravo Juliet, overhead to sending dead side. Welcome to Slate for your fuel or parking today, sir. Thank you very much. Parking, if possible, go for Julia. Next to SP would be great. After an epic flight down, we are in a very wintry, sunny Slate airfield. Slate, sleep, tomato, tomato. Um, yeah, she performed beautifully. And uh, going to go and give ourselves a bladder break, a quick drink, something to top up the sugars, and then... Uh, then down to Lee before sunset. What a lovely machine. The eagle-eyed among you will have noticed a rather messy engine cowling and fuselage behind me in the shop. As soon as I stopped the camera rolling, I turned around and discovered that we had appeared to have suffered an oil leak. Thankfully, it looked a lot worse than what it was, and we had only lost about a quart of oil. We had plenty of oil remaining to get us back to Lee, and after inspecting the engine in detail, we decided to continue on the final part of our trek. Sadly, my cameras died shortly after starting up for the final leg, and so I didn't manage to get any viable footage. We had an uneventful last leg and landed at Lee with time to spare before official night began. This was one heck of a trip with some amazing views, lots of laughs, and another experience I won't forget anytime soon. If you've got your pilot's license or are con considering doing so, hopefully this trip has given you some ideas and inspiration of the adventures you can have in a light aircraft whilst appreciating your surroundings. Thanks for coming along and for your support of the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay up to date with future uploads. Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the skies again soon.